I first had the opportunity to really get to know Bob when uh, he joined our board of directors here at Southside Bank uh, back in, I think it was 2009. So it's been about 12 years now. Margaret and I met lovely Debbie and Bob through civic, business, and social activities and became very close after he became a member of the Stephen F. Austin Board of Regents in 2007. I can't tell you exactly when we met, but we've known each other for over 30 years. Uh, and it was from church at Green Acres Baptist that, that I met him. And, uh, and, and we've known Debbie for that longer, longer too. You know, the first time I met Bob is, I believe, when he came on to the Board of Regents as a new member. And it was about the time that I was named vice president. So we began to work together then. And I learned very quickly that Bob had a history at SFA, but, uh, and I wasn't really aware of it. But then over time, as we got to work together, I, I heard more and more of his stories of when he was a student here and uh, how important that time was for him. You know, Bob and I go back a long way. I mean, he, he uh, was on the Board of, Dire of Regents whenever I got there. He had been on two years already, and that's the first time I'd met Bob. So Bob uh, was one of the few, in fact, I think maybe the third guy, second or third regent that had actually been reappointed for a second term. It just doesn't happen. And so Bob was there for his, you know, 12 years. Ten of those I was with him. Bob is chairman today of the Southside Bank, one of the state's best banks. He's president of the Fair Foundation and active on the steering committee for the new University of Texas at Tyler School of Medicine. He was selected in 2019 as the outstanding citizen of Tyler. He has continued to invest his time, his expertise, and his financial resources in Stephen F. Austin. Well, let me tell you, Bob's deserving of the award. If you just look at the invitation, and I'm sure the program tonight, you'll see all of the accomplishments, uh, not only in business, but in community service that Bob has uh, uh, excelled in. I don't know all your alumni, but I've got to say that uh, there are probably few that are more deserving than Bob of this honor. He's, he's got a lot of talents and, and uh, been, a, been a great asset to Fair Oil Co Company and, and, um, and also a great asset to every community that he's been in. And so you just, I mean, that's typically hardworking, dedicated, honest, a lot of integrity. You know, that's just who an, a lumberjack is and that's who Bob is. I mean, you just couldn't couldn't get any better example of a lumberjack than Bob, in my mind. Bob came home from school and saw there were roof shingles all over the yard. He quickly located his dad, who was a World War II hero and was severely wounded by mine damage during the Normandy invasion. And he asked his dad, what's going on? His dad said, you and I are going to roof the house. And Bob looked and said, Dad? I don't have any idea how to roof a house. And his dad looked at me and said, you'll know how by next Sunday. <laughs> and they roofed the house. <laughs> I think Bob is very, very definitely deserving of this honor and uh, I want to congratulate him for it. Bob, you're the man. Gosh, I can't think of another person more deserving than you for this Distinguished Alumni Award. Congratulations. And especially for Debbie too, I'm just letting you know. Simply put, SFA has no finer friend than the dynamic Bob Garrett. Bob Garrett, please come forward and accept your award.